Sometimes the condensation will come from fog machines. If you read page eight of the manual. Never gotten that deep. Okay, now in ready to go. Machine manual. Romani Parker in the jump circle for Mississippi State and Cheyenne Daniels for southeastern Louisiana. Well, that was a toss at center court that kind of was an early season toss right there. Boy, you see Ja'Kayla Jordan almost came free. And got another steal. Taylor Bell out on that left wing, hands it off to her point guard. State jumping in a little matchup zone, a pull up jump shot. Jen Pierre able to knock down the jumper straight away in southeastern Louisiana. The Lady Lions who made their way up from Hammond, Louisiana. It's not a terrible drive up I 55 and we get on Highway 25 in Jackson coming to Starkville. See the starting lineup for state. Lauren Park Lane had a nice outing in her Bulldog debut as a Mississippi State point guard. Kick it to the corner. Debrisha Poe, sophomore from Meridian, throws up an air ball. Rebound offside for southeastern Louisiana. Lady Lions started their season on Monday night, a win at home against Millsaps. Of course, Millsaps, a D3 school from Jackson, Mississippi. Spinning shot and a bank shot from Taylor Bell, and it's a 4 0 game. Well, shot was contested, but the bank was open. Jerkayla Jordan. Follows and answers, and that's the first shot of the night for Drakela Jordan. Had the 26 points in the game the other night. Here's Bell again. Made a nice move, and a foul is called. Drakela Jordan going to pick up the foul. And Bell at the line. Talked about that 61-30 to win on Monday against Millsaps. Cheyenne Daniels led the way with 22 points for the Lady Lions. And the Aaron pass, and Mississippi State turns it over. That was a nice job of attacking the court. <laughs> Jump shot, right elbow, bang. Gerentano, the senior from Ponchatoula. Knocks it down, and it's 7-2 to two, southeastern Louisiana. Well, call for the pick and then took advantage of the screen. Lady Lions out early over Mississippi State. And Ja'Kayla Jordan will cross over jumper. And Ja'Kayla Jordan has the first four for State. And the three ball left wing from Kennedy Paul. And it's 10-4, southeastern Louisiana. Well, the media timeout will come after 30 seconds, but you have to know Sam Purcell would love a stoppage of action, be able to talk to his ball club. Debrisha Poe knocks down the three from the left wing. And the first point of the night for Debrisha Poe. Yeah, Poe, one of the players for Mississippi State who didn't get things going in the opening ball game. Sam Purcell will love to see her knocking down the three-point shot here. Midway point of the first quarter. Leaning in the offensive foul. Bulldogs would love to see her have the big game. And Lauren Park Lane with the basketball. As this one is back underway. So look at the one-two punch along the front line for State now with Barnum. And there's another long shot from Pope. Again, looking to go high to low. Bell with a spinning shot. Bulldogs had switched off, and he had the mismatch inside with Taylor Bell. And straight away, count the bucket and a foul underneath. Jessica Carter knocking down the jump shot. So count the bucket. 
And a foul is going to be against Southeastern Louisiana. Against Kennedy Paul. It was actually Paul who hit that bucket just a moment ago. Second shot we've seen by Carter. Both have come from the perimeter. Bulldogs have not led so far. The second of four to open the season here at home for State. Move it around. The three ball is knocked home by Gerentano. Haley Gerentano up to Poe. Here's Jessica Carter. And that one rattles off the iron. State 5 of 13 shooting here early on, 38%. Southeastern Louisiana shot it well, though. 6 of 11, 55%. And the Lady Lions have a four-point lead. Three balls straight away. And that one rattles off the back of the iron. Here's Lauren Part Lane looking to run. Jaquela Jordan, wide open look. Like she was trying to gather the ball, couldn't get it cleanly, got the loose ball, stuck it back, scored, and she's fouled. Well, there you see the versatility of Jaquela Jordan. And her first trip to the free throw line tonight. And it's off the right iron and no good. Mississippi State has checked the young Agoni into the game. Goni wearing number one out top. Here's Girantano. Had the ball knocked free by Lauren Park Lane. Picked her pocket, races the other way, and ties the game at 15. Well, Bulldogs getting it started on the defensive end to tie this one up. Live ball turnover that leads to an easy bucket. Well, look at Jordan working defensively right here. Girantano with the left hand. Spins, forces the shot, and knocked it down. Oh, my. Well, that was a frustration shot in a way, just worn down by the defense of Jordan, but then gets it to go. Into the corner, Debrisha Poe got it, and State has its first lead of the night on the final shot of the first quarter. She immediately went to the locker room. And so Romani Parker out of this game after drawing the star tonight in place of Jessica Carter. State with a lead at 18-17. Bulldogs have checked number 14, Miracle Shepard, into the game. Freshman from Kent, Washington. Inside, Jessica Carter got free, lays it in. And Jessica Carter with her second field goal, and she has four points. Nice job that time by Carter being patient. Defender right on her, but able to put it on the floor and get to the basket. There's Taylor Bell. Picked up nicely by Carter defensively. Yeah, Bell's got to be careful. Really working that front elbow. And Jen Pierre with a deep three with the shot clock winding down, and we're tied at 20. And out of the timeout, Carter off the lob. Missed the shot, but Miracle Shepard with the offensive rebound. Deep three from Rodgers. Off the back iron and no good. The offside rebound comes all the way back out and a rebound for Kennedy Paul for Southeastern. Well, it's been a while since either one of these teams have made a shot from the field. And the jumper is good from Kennedy Paul. Down by two. Bulldogs have only led for one minute and two seconds tonight. Here's Rodgers, deep three. Off the back iron and no good. Bulldogs two for 12 behind the three-point line. And the jumper rattles in. Southeastern Louisiana has outscored State 7-2 here in the second quarter. Six minutes deep in the second. And the spinning shot from Jessica Carter, and she'll go to the free throw line. And Jessica Carter knocks down the first free throw. Carter shot 61% at the free throw line last season. 
Here's Mackenzie Thomas, hands it back to Jen Pierre. Southeastern running a lot of clock here, running some shot clock down inside of five, and Jen Pierre, a little 16 footer straight away. Well, Pierre's really showed something here tonight. Able to make shots from the field, rebounding, sharing the basketball. Four shot by Jaquela Jordan as southeastern Louisiana comes out of there with it. Boy, it feels like all the 50 50 balls going southeastern Louisiana's way. Southeastern shooting 11 of 26 from the field, 42%. Stage is 9 of 28, 32%. Great ball movement as well. Gerentano forced that shot on the run. Here's Jaquela Jordan. Spins in traffic, put it up with a left hand. And the loose ball rebound comes out of there. That's the point guard and Jen Pierre. Oh, Lines nice it inside. pass. Inside, wide open look and the blown layup from Cheyenne Daniels. Here's State running the floor, and the Bulldogs turn it into a transition pair. Where's number 22 at the top of your screen? Now, moving screen against southeastern Louisiana. Inside of a minute to go in the first half. Out to Jordan. Open look out of the corner, and Jerkayla Jordan gives State the lead back. Shares the basketball, and the Bulldogs are rewarded. Ten seconds difference. Shot clock and game clock. Here's Bell. Had it knocked free. Loose on the floor. Bulldogs had it, and now jump ball call. Possession arrow belongs to Mississippi State. Will at least take a lead into the dressing room. They've only led a minute and 28 seconds in this first half. Southeastern Louisiana has had the lead for 13-53. Lauren Park Lane for three. Off the back iron and no good. The rebound, Southeastern. Jen Pierre, the heave at the buzzer, and it's too strong, and we played one half of basketball. Well, second half, our second quarter, was a defensive struggle. Only two ties, three lead changes. Girantano gets it inside to travel. Barnum. And she'll get on the free throw line as she free throws. And she gets one out of two. So Aaron Barnum. In the scoring column for the first time. She was 5 for 7 the other night at the line. 62% career free throw shooter. Working it around. Jump shot for the baseline is good. Mackenzie Thomas. Well, southeastern Louisiana has hit a number of shots in the mid-range here tonight, and a number of them coming late in the shot clock. And so 16 on the clock instead of 26. Debrisha Poe for three, and that one rolls in. Debrisha Poe, her third three, she leads all scores with 11 points, a sophomore from Meridian, Mississippi. Here's Lauren Park Lane. Layup too strong and will belong to Southeastern. Debrisha Poe did not have the big scoring night. Night one has come back and really been a force offensively today. Bulldogs double on the sideline. Open look. Thomas, this time too strong. Lauren Park Lane looking to run. Left side, Poe, another three. This one's short. Inside the corner and the lay-in, and what a feed inside from Lauren Park Lane. A great assist, and State leads by five. (laughs) 
Largest lead of the night for Mississippi State. Bulldogs on a 6-0 run. And another steal. The state forcing another southeastern Louisiana turnover. Here's Golding. Ja'Kayla Jordan, the give and go. She'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. A lot more defensive intensity from Mississippi State here early in the third quarter, and it's jump-started their offense. Shot clock at five. Jean-Pierre, crossover, jumper. And that was too strong. Nice defense by Ja'Kayla Jordan. Lauren Park Lane. Here's Jordan. Backs her way in. Nowhere to go. Sixth rebound in the ball game for Lauren Park Lane. Driving with the left hand. And she'll go to the free throw line and shoot too. A career 80% free throw shooter. And she makes one out of two. Kennedy Paul going to pull the trigger. And Giurantano, her putback won't go. The foul on the rebound by McKenzie Thomas. And State will walk the other way. Now State will shoot free throws on the other end with Debrisha Poe. Now 12 points for Debrisha. And last year, she shot 77% at the free throw line. She makes them both good here. And a 10-point lead for State. They've outscored Southeastern Louisiana 11-2. Now the steal by Ja'Kayla Jordan. And make the lead an even dozen. And now a timeout taken by Southeastern Louisiana. Three ball. Off the left iron. Well, Carter hit the deck a couple times. And the put back on the inside. The point for Je- Cheyenne Daniels. And that stops the 12-0 run. Poe again. And this time, this one rattles in. And that's her fourth three. Her career high is 21. She had it against Tennessee last year. Fabricia Poe. Two on the shot clock, ball knock free. Ja'Kayla Jordan. Goni hits the deck, and they stop the play as a foul on the open floor. And Goni at the free throw line to shoot the first one left iron. And Goni able to make one out of two. Bulldogs back to pressure using Goni up top. Flowers, Dijonet Flowers. Hands it off to Girantano. Under four to play in the third. Ball movement around the perimeter. Three ball too long. As Flowers missed her first shot. Debris Chapeau. Got it. Again. Debris Chapeau with her fifth three, her 19th point to go along with eight rebounds. And the shot rattles off the back. State looks to run. Lauren Park Lane. Work it to Barnum and the jumper is good. Well, State worked it around and Barnum, wide open look, free throw line extended. And Barnum has her first field goal, three points for Aaron Barnum, and the Bulldogs lead by 19. You know, one thing we haven't commented on about Poe, you know, obviously looking at the points, but she has in this ballgame nine rebounds. And a three too long. And Jasmine Brown Hagger inside to Carter. Jessica Carter spun, missed it. And the shot, the follow, 
The second chance point by Aaron Barnum. Lob it inside. Daniels with the easy look once again. Three ball, and that one rattles out from Jasmine Brown Hager. Loose on the floor, Southeastern out of there with it. Under a minute to go in the third. It's been all state in the second half. Find the cutter, Daniels. Backs away in. May have traveled just a tad. Able to lay it in. At this point. Lauren Park Lane. And that one rattles off. Try to kick it to the corner and picked off. Jasmine Brown Hager, and that will run out the third quarter. 11 points in that third for her. And pressure again from the Mississippi State. Defense here. Chiantano. Find the cutter, Bell. Nice play run by Southeastern to get the fourth quarter started. And a foul on the Lady Lions. Jordan cut off. Got the double team to Jessica Carter, and the jumper is good from Jessica Carter, and that's point number 10 for Carter. Yeah, Carter able to catch and shoot in rhythm that time and knocks down the mid-range shot, gets into double figures. Two minutes deep in the fourth. Giantano out to Bell, shot too strong. And the putback is good from Cheyenne Daniels. Lauren Park Lane, floater, left side of the lane, and she'll go to the line and shoot two. They missed them both. Steal by Park Lane, and Lauren lays it in with the left hand. Now uh, there you see again for Mississippi State, defense leading to points on the offensive end. Oh, on a charge. And Carter hits the deck. Bell lost the handle, couldn't get it back. The offensive foul. Here's Carter. Boy, nice move. Split the double team and Jessica Carter with a bucket. Giantano, left side blocked by Carter. And the jumper is good. Now Bulldogs. Trying to get it to Carter down low. Darion Rogers. Here's Kennedy Paul. Back to Girantano. Asked for a screen. Two man game. Little floater at the free throw line won't go. And boy, Miracle Shepard just trying to rip the ball free. Oh, a nice feed inside to Montague. That's Rogers. a really nice look by Rogers that time. Diagonal pass. That's a tough feed to make. Just made it on the line. And now Montague with a steal. Out to Shepard. Freshman to freshman and a foul call. And now Miracle Shepard will shoot two shots. Played at Mount Verde Academy down in Florida, the Miracle Shepherd, four-star recruit. And the lead is 25 for Mississippi State. Yeah. 
Down to Bell. Spinning shot against Rodgers and got it with a left hand. Fifth point for Taylor Bell. Yeah, Bell and Daniels tonight, both hampered with foul trouble. And Bell comes up with a steal. And the three ball is good from Haley Giratano. Yeah, Ponchatoula's known for, right, Charlie? Strawberries. Okay. I think it's the strawberry capital of the world. I think. If it's not, it is now. Here's Bell, crossover. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, she gets the first. State leading by 18. Southeastern on a 7-0 run here late. Montague leans in, got the bucket. Two o'clock start here in Humphrey Coliseum. Bell with a three, did not draw iron. Miracle Shepherd out to Montague. And foul from behind by Taylor Bell. And now Montague will shoot two. And Montague hits the first free throw. First opportunity at the line this year for Winnera Montague. 6-6 freshman from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Six points in the game for Montague. Dumped it down inside and a foul on Montague. Well, this free throw could do it. She has nine points. And missed it. And now State can just dribble it out. Miracle Shepard will put it on the offensive end. And Sam Purcell in 25th ranked Mississippi State put the clamps on defensively in the second and third quarter and win tonight by 21. 67 to 46 the final. Charlie, it wasn't pretty early, but the Bulldogs got it done in the second half. 